back out to Meredith Morakovic standing by with a man himself, Corey Kluber. Meredith. Corey, fresh off your first career no-hitter, what are you feeling today now that you've had a little bit of time to reflect on the accomplishment? Um, I mean, obviously still excited, but I think, you know, most of that probably happened last night and then now doing my best to kind of move on and, and get ready for my next start the best I can and, you know, try to win a game today. How did you celebrate last night after the game? Nothing too crazy. Uh, I went back to the hotel and hung out with a couple guys for a little bit, but, uh, you know, nothing, nothing too much. I imagine your phone was blowing up text messages, phone calls. Is there any that stood out to you of somebody reaching out to congratulate you? Probably not one in particular, but I mean, I just think a lot of people, uh, you know, you probably realize, you know, how many people um, pay attention or, or watch, you know, when when you go out there and pitch and, uh, you know, whether it's people that you talk to on a daily basis or not. Um, so, you know, just from hearing it from a lot of those people is good. You pitched in a lot of big games. You've won two Cy Youngs. Just how meaningful, though, was throwing a no-hitter for you? Yeah, I, I think they're different. Um, but I think I said it last night, you know, I think to, to hear the guys in the clubhouse say how much it meant to them, uh, it was probably the coolest thing for me. You know, I think that it's, it's not something that's common for guys to be a part of. And so, you know, they were obviously all really excited to, to be a part of it as well. You also mentioned last night that you thought maybe you shook off Higashioko once throughout the course of that game. What is it about the pairing that seems to work so well for you? He seems to have brought out the best in you this season. Um, you know, I think we we do prep work beforehand and we, we kind of have a game plan, but then we also have a, a second, third option to go to if, if there's a need to adjust during the game. So not really caught off guard in that situation. Um, but I think the way we read swings and read hitters, stuff like that, uh, it kind of, it's similar to each other. So that makes, you know, pitch selection or talking about things in between innings, it makes it uh, a lot easier that way. I spoke with Matt Blake this morning, and he said that you texted him after the game. What did you say to him? Because I know he was just as excited as everyone in that Yankees clubhouse. Yeah, he texted me saying congratulations. I said thanks. You know, hopefully that makes the, uh, the lockdown in the hotel room a little better for tonight. Corey, I see a little smile right there, but you were generally extremely stoic. I have to ask you last night how you stayed so calm on the mound. Really just trying not to make too much of the situation um you know in those those instances where i've you know had more adrenaline or or things like that going before i really just try to you know remind myself what i did to get to that point um so i feel like that's what's going to give me the best chance to to go out there and continue to do what i've done to that point so far well Corey, it was a big accomplishment nobody would fault you if you wanted to make a little bit out of it congratulations again on the no hitter thank you very much Bob, Jack, we'll send it back to you in the studio.